how to do body actions in Latin American dancing. Okay, if you take a look at your body, we have a, like a small box, very square. So we will change that slightly. So try to change weight from one foot to another and just relax in your hip. Now, as you relax in your hip, start creating a diagonal, like a diagonal line like this. Imagine like a red line in your body from your hip to your rib cage. Same time, keeping your central, your spine, as straight as possible. So you try to stretch your rib cage and hip away from each other as you're standing on one of the leg. Now from here, as we change body weight, we're gonna close that diagonal, like it's gonna closing towards your time as we're changing weight. And as we complete our weight change, we're gonna create another diagonal, another feeling of stretch between your hip and rib cage. So we very much not box, very much have a little bit something in our body. Now, as we're transferring weight, we're gonna close that line together here to the tummy and stretch it from the opposite way. So go and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. So here we're doing now two things. Of course, we're changing body weight which means you see our hip change, our weight on one leg. It means you can easily lift out the leg. And also we're doing this diagonal, so this body actions as we're changing weight. So let's try to do again for the eight counts. And one, and on the end, collect your diagonal, open it on the other side. Two, and three, and four, and five and six, and seven, and eight. So now once you create diagonal, try to do it in a different position. Try to open your leg like in a side step. And as we're transferring weight from foot to foot here, from right foot to the left, now we're gonna add a little bit diagonal as we're transferring weight. So before we transfer, we start stretching from our tummy, our hip rib cage to opposite side, and we let our rib cage to change weight first. Now, somewhere here where we already arrive over the leg, we're gonna close this diagonal and stretch from the opposite direction. Let this other our rib cage lead our body weight. And transfer weight and transfer. And one and two and three and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and. So here, when we're learning body actions, there's the fundamentals of, a, uh, of it. So you create diagonal, but now after you create diagonal, here you have to master the timing of your weight transferring. How long you stay in that maximum stretch as you transfer, and when you start putting this rib in, and start changing for another way. So it depends on the music, depends on your personal style, but that will be some ideas how you can start using it. Okay, so for example, as we learned already cha-cha-cha, let's review, we have a triple step, side, together, side. We try to introduce a body action to that. And this is the very, very simple way to learn body action. So we introduce diagonal before we step, side, diagonal as we step, side, and diagonal as we're exiting, side. So we have a cha, cha, cha with the body actions. Cha, cha, cha. Similar you can do to your rock step. You can create a diagonal before you step, during you step, and after you step. So everything you do, you have that sense of diagonal in your body with you, and you timing your step accordingly. Follow Dance Mesolic app for more secrets and have a great day.